Hello friends, I am Swagatita. Today in this video we are going to uh, learn how to debug a head, uh, handle leak by a VDBG. So let's start. So here uh, to en enable the user trace using G flag, first we have to go to uh, VDBG installation folder. Then we will launch the uh, global flag of uh, uh, the DHC that uh, then uh, it will uh, launch it that one. Then after that, uh, in that dialog box, you have to write the process name, which process you want to uh, uh, trap that process name you have to write here. Then we will uh, check the checkbox uh, on create user mode stack trace database. And then we will click on OK. So in DBG, uh, already we have done previous uh, project, uh, previous uh, video we have done. So here what we are going to do, first we will open the process and uh, which process we want to uh, do the, the link we have to handle, that process we have to open. Then uh, we will set our symbol path, uh, the symbol path we have to attach. Then uh, once the symbol path is done, then the, from the VDBG we have to attach the process, which process we have to attach, then after that we will click on OK. So here in this application we have done, is the form one dot CS, here we have given two button that is click file handle and click registry key. So first we will click on click file handle and, and uh, here we have uh, asked we have given the path here, but wh what we have done here, we have created, open the file, and we, uh, in the file mode is open, but we didn't close the file. So, automatically it will leak memory. And, uh, we are opening 10 file in each click, and hence we will object the 10 file uh, handle leak on each click. And here in the leak registry, uh, handle but uh, handling, here you have uh, we open the registry, but uh, we didn't close it. And uh, here we have given the counter i uh, ten, so ten times it will uh, leak. So here we attach it is the VDG, and we are attaching our uh, application. Then we click on OK button. Now we will uh, click a G so the debug is running and here uh, we will leak uh, I will uh, debug we will uh, click on leak file handle so that uh, we can find how much leak is up. It will break. Click on break button. Here will uh, that edge trace uh, en will uh, enable that one. And it's given here. See the information snapshot successfully taken. So what is a uh, bang edge trace? That one I'll explain now. So if you are clicking on uh, 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 here you have one command is there bank handle it will show how, how much uh, how many file handle all that it will show and here it is showing uh, 20 so one for that uh, file so two times you have done that's a 20 so again we will click, click uh, we'll click on file handle click file and we will click on break Now the file uh, is showing 30 because one more time we have done, let's say 10, 10 count it increased. And this command bang h trace uh, difference if you are clicking, it will show. <coughs> 
last process and this process uh, it is uh, sorry from the previous snapshot it has displayed zero xa that 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 much uh, uh, it's increased so this this is in hexadecimal format zero xa so we'll find the difference zero uh, the hexadecimal format xa a is uh, ten that's why it is showing ten difference constants. And it's showing here create file. Next, we'll see uh, to leak the registry key. Next, uh, another one. We'll click on that one. We'll break. So, here if you're clicking on the command uh, bank handle it, so how many times it is. Uh, Leak is happening, register is 26. Again, we'll do. Here it's increased 10, 26. Initially it was there, now it is 36. Let me see uh, what is the difference. One from the verb beginning because we have done two times that's why from the previous time such a different is one key. One is when to twenty that is because two times repeated ten ten that's why it's twenty different. So here uh, bank h trace and uh, bank handle these are the commands we used now. So the basically when you uh, h trace extension display the stack trace information for one or more handles and bank handle extension display the information about handle or handle that uh, one or all uh, all places in the table system. So stage two debug handle link. First one, we have to enable the trace, and uh, we have to use uh, command uh, bang h trace and hyphen, hyphen enable command, and then we will do the procedure to leak the handle, and then after that we will use uh, bang h trace. Then we have to write the difference. We have to click the um, hyphen difference so that we will find the difference from parent to previous. One and then finally we check out the call stack to identify the leak handle and pattern to leak the map of the code. So post mortem debugging for handle leak. Uh, in case of post debugging, first you have to increment the term and check the handle trace in each term and then we will identify the uh, culprit handle call stack. And also, you can use with, uh, debug the analysis tool which you have done previously to analyze the data. Thank you. I hope you, this video will help you for you. If you like, please uh, subscribe.